So I got a tweet from Blockhead Gaming the other day mentioning that homebrew is now easily accessible on the Nintendo Switch. Do you understand how important this is? This is a program where if you're not familiar, it opens up the console or the hardware in general to a bunch of unsigned content including games and other useful apps, especially for the Nintendo Switch, which seems to just have a lot of untapped potential as is, lacking a web browser, lacking a lot of media support, although it does have Hulu now, so props to Nintendo, but although they put it out kind of quiet, so what the fuck? Unless Let's not forget that the Switch also does have Bluetooth, but just not enabled for anything but the Joy-Con. So you can see why my dick got instantly hard the moment that I saw this was potentially possible. Remember that I cover hacking stuff in the past, the only reason why I didn't talk about anything recently is because I said I did not want to bring anything up until there was something that you as the consumer could do yourself to finally start on this path of Switch hacking. My friends, that day has come, your boy is here, let's see what the hell is possible! It's been reported that following several months of tinkering, the Pega Switch Toolkit has now been available to run homebrew on the Switch, providing that it's running firmware 3.0, which is a problem as most people have updated to 4.0 by now. NOT ME, NIGGA! If you were anticipating this day to come, then you went and got yourself a Nintendo Switch that you never touched from the moment you got it. This baby is unopened, unsullied, nigga, and we are ready to go ham today, baby! For those with firmware lower than 3.0, and that counts for me and you if you didn't open your Switch yet because it will be on the 1.0 firmware. It's recommended to use Pokémon Tournament DX to get up to date with the desired firmware. We don't recommend doing such things. It'll invalidate your warranty and it is a bit naughty. And besides, you'll miss out on playing Super Mario Odyssey which requires a later firmware and we can't have that now, can we? I don't give a single fuck, nigga. Remember that the Nintendo Switch also doesn't have the ability to back up save data. Look at hacking as a way to open up yourself to save your data in case you ever lose your Switch. Right now, there's no real effective way to do so. You can always re-download your stuff from the eShop if you purchase it digitally, but if you lose that fucking Switch, all that Zelda playtime that you might have saved up, thousands of hours of gaming, gone in an instant. I can easily see a homebrew application coming up which just easily lets you rip your save data from the game and drop it onto your computer. Now something the article mentions is that it's not really clear if the value is there yet to be able to update your Switch to 3.0 just for this homebrew exploit because there is nothing there at the moment. Now, the potential for this is crazy. There's currently people who have access to the Switch's kernel developing applications as we speak, but until those things come out, there's really no value or justification in doing this other than saying that you actually have homebrew running on the Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna do it anyways. I mean, if you're doing this and you already have a Switch in the back and you're just waiting for it to be hacked, then this is the day that you're going to probably do the same thing that I am. We've seen this shit happen with the 3DS before. Whenever a game is used to be able to access an exploit, it usually skyrockets in price. Remember Cubic Ninja? One of the hardest games to get your hands on nowadays, especially since Nintendo is fully aware that it's able to open up exploits on the 3DS, we're probably going to see something similar happen with Pokémon Tournament. Once that game-breaking homebrew application or game drops, it's going to completely shoot the demand for the game up hardware-wise. Who knows, maybe they'll start recalling hard copies of Pokémon. This might just be a scalper's dream. You're seeing the future right now, that Pokémon is going to be the easy access route. I have no goddamn intention of playing the actual game, not to offend anyone who enjoys it, but the only purpose that you're going to be getting this for your hack switch is to update it to that proper firmware to access the the homebrew stuff so I'm gonna be doing it myself as a matter of fact why the fuck are we wasting time we need a hard copy of Pokemon ASAP nigga this switch is going straight to the homebrew land let's go nigga <laughs>